Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be taking a break from discussing when news is actually going to come for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and we're going to discuss some things that we've already seen in previous trailers. Ever since we got the reveal of your rival character, Nimona, in one of the trailers for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I have felt that there is much more to her than meets the eye. So today, we're going to discuss our rival character in these games, or our friend, as they like to call it, and see what secrets she might hold to the story and to the region. One of the best things that Pokemon has done in recent generations is make the rival slash friend characters really stand out. It hit a low, a low point in my opinion, with Pokemon X and Y, maybe the worst roster of rivals and friends we've ever gotten. There were a handful of them and none of them were particularly interesting. If you love the rivals and friends of X and Y, I apologize, but Serena and Tierno and all of them and and, and Shauna, was it Shauna or Sauna? I don't even remember. None of them were particularly great in my opinion, but since then we've gotten a handful of really solid rival characters throughout the most recent generations. They're actually on a high. Hugh and some of the other rivals in Gens 4 and 5, Barry as well, were really solid and they, they kind of just topped out with bottomed out, excuse me, with X and Y. Since then, we've gotten a bunch of really good rivals and hopefully Nimona appears to be another one of those. I was actually on a podcast a couple months back and we were discussing some of the things that Nimona might hold in terms of story links and other things to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. None of these things have officially been revealed just yet, but it's some interesting speculation to start off with. We can take a look at her bio on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website. Your friend Nimona has a sunny and energetic disposition, and she absolutely loves Pokemon battles. She's an experienced trainer and serves as a reliable guide for you on your adventures. She has undisputed skill in battle, though it does seem that she's not the best at throwing Pokeballs. We've talked about this in previous videos, other channels have definitely talked about Nimona as a character, but there's a lot of interesting backstory that we get just from her bio. We see that she has a sort of uh, arm brace or some kind of thing on the first part of her arm from her hand down to her elbow, and it appears that it's going to have something to do with the end part of her bio, which is that she doesn't seem to be the best at throwing Pokeballs. Maybe this is some kind of item or some kind of hint at character customization or a furthering of character customization in Scarlet and Violet, or maybe it just has to do with her and her personal story, her backstory, and reasons at which we need to care about this character. Either way, I think it's a nice piece of depth for her and it already makes her less than a flat it makes her more than a flat character hopefully there is some genuine development and it'll continue the trend of rival characters having legitimate development that we've gotten with how and hop in recent generations other things are interesting here. It seems that she is a more experienced trainer. She doesn't seem to be just starting out just like you are, like a Barry would be. Hugh was similar in that he had already had trainer experience raising his starter Pokemon from an egg. So Nimona seems to be in that same vein. She has been a trainer. She is established already. One of the interesting parts that we see from one of the trailer bits is when she's talking to you in what looks like a cutscene either before battle or a cutscene when you're first being introduced to her. She's standing in front of a large building and she says, are you these three's trainer? These are the three starter Pokemon that she seems to be hinting at, which it brings up some interesting questions. Why do you have all three starter Pokemon at this point in the game? Are you bringing them somewhere for purposes of the story? Are you traveling with them to meet the professor? Have you not yet selected your specific starter? It's a curious bit of dialogue that I feel like most of the community has kind of just glossed over, but at this point in the game's story, it appears that you have all three starter Pokemon. I wonder why that is. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is always greatly appreciated. Not only does Nimona seem to be your friend and rival character, someone who you're going to battle throughout the game and probably has some link to the story, we can see that she has a school or institution, some kind of 
groups patch on the side of her arm, and she is wearing an outfit that at least halfway resembles some sort of school outfit. The top part of her outfit does at least. She has an interesting design. You can see the green tuft of hair that she has. We've speculated in some other videos with some other friends of mine that maybe it has something to do with some kind of gimmick. It, her coloring just as a whole is very interesting. But one of the other things that they mention on the website is that she is going to be a guide for you on your adventures. Now, this could of course just be flavor text describing the character, but in a game that is very open world, almost fully open world it seems, considering how the advertising has been for Scarlet and Violet up to this point, it would make sense that there would be a character that would at least be around you pretty much all the time who you could serve as a guide to. She would or serve as a guide for you. She could educate you on different mechanics, talk to you about how different things work in this new open world, explain to you how to navigate certain things, and be that tutorial entity early on in the game, because it seems that she is with you early on. The screenshots we've gotten, of course, her talking to you about the starter Pokemon. We also see you engage with a battle with her outside of one of the gas station Pokemon centers out in the open world, so she is very clearly going to be present throughout the early portions of the game. What ties does she have to the school or the different institution that her patch is from? Is she the daughter of a headmaster or someone who's in charge of the institution? Is she just someone who's part of the same group as you are? Is she on the opposing group? There's a lot of, because we've seen two different symbolic pieces that maybe some people have speculated are separate to the different games. Maybe the other one is present in both games. There's a lot of different things we don't know just yet. We really need another trailer for all of this. She's interesting and she might hold part of the key to the game. Some of the speculation that people have engaged with is towards the gimmick of Scarlet and Violet dealing with the past and the future. Some of the Pokemon designs seem to be reminiscent of ancient times and futuristic times, the Scarlet and Violet legendaries being the biggest examples. Nimona, on the other hand, seems to be someone who's very set in the present. She is your anchor to present day. If there's going to be an evil team conflict in Scarlet and Violet dealing with pushing for the future or trying to tug us back to the past, something in that vein, we're going to need a character that signifies the present. Nimona could be that character. Modern technology allowing her to better throw Pokeballs with that wrist brace that she seems to be wearing, her modern look, her modern aesthetic, the fact that she is happy and excited and, and thrilled to be training Pokemon and being your uh, friend and rival. A lot of this just seems to point to the idea that she could be an anchor to the present time when the story is pushing us between the past and the future. A lot of interesting stuff to sink our teeth into, none of which is confirmed just yet, but it's a lot of interesting speculation. Have you guys done a deep dive on Nimona yet? Is she an interesting rival character to you? Are you excited about what she might bring to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I would love to know down below in the comments section. Be sure to let me know what you guys think. And if you guys enjoyed this Pokemon Scarlet and Violet discussion video, likes are always very much appreciated, helps other people find the channel, helps other people engage in the discussion. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like it in the future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.